Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Merry Christmas and welcome to worship today. Uh, this morning we, we celebrate the birth of our Savior King into this world and marvel at the fact that the eternal God was willing to leave his throne behind so that he could come into this world to be our Savior. Uh, we celebrate the birth of our King. And so for our theme today we consider God sent his own Son to save mankind. For our order of service will follow us printed in the service folder, and we begin with hymn number 42, Come Your Hearts and Voices Raising. the great name of our Savior God. As he came to serve the people in the depths of their need. Help us, O Lord, to spread the word of Jesus forever in all the world. Let all people now remember the night of Jesus' birth. And tell of his coming to the ends of the earth. Let us pray. Almighty God, you made this holy day to shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that as we have known on earth the wonder of that light, we may also behold him in all his glory in the life to come. Through your only Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated as we continue with the next hymn, Your Little Ones, Dear Lord, our
Sorrow King, Isaiah 9, 2, 6 through 7. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be call, called uh, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from the from that time on and forever the the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Now we're going to him please.
through 7. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was the governor of Syria. And everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to, Ju to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for him, <coughs> for them in the end. We now continue with hymn 56, Gentle Mary, Later Child. Thank you. 
this time we continue with the offering. and almighty Father, we praise you that you kept your ancient promises by sending your everlasting Son in human flesh. On this holy day, we receive our thanks and emotions, our songs and prayers. You sent Jesus as a lowly child to demonstrate your concern for all, the weak and lonely, the troubled and frightened, the timid and helpless. No one is overlooked by your ever-seeking eyes. No one is excluded from your upholding arms. No one is denied the comfort and help of your outstretched hand. Bless us with a childlike faith in the divine assurance that you love and care for us always. You sent Jesus as the Savior of the world to deliver all from the curse of sin, the power of death, and the torment of hell. He took our place. He was born under the law to set us free. He became the innocent lamb of sacrifice. He came to die and rise again in order that we might live eternally. Firmly implant this good news in our hearts and fill us with an eager desire to spread the word concerning what he had heard or we have heard tonight. May all who hear the message and every nation under heaven be amazed and believe you said Jesus as the light of the world to drive out all darkness that would rob us of the full light that you intend for us. May the joy that will be for all people be our joy. May the peace on earth to all on whom his favor rests be our peace. May the treasure that Mary pondered in her heart be our treasure. 
for today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to us. He is Christ the Lord. Amen. We also join the pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated as we continue with our final reading. The result is that we may have true peace. John 16, 33 through 17, 3. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. After Jesus said this, he looked toward heaven and prayed, Father, the time has come. Glorify your son that your, your son may glorify you. For you granted him authority over all people that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Now this is eternal life, that they may see you in the only true God in Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Um, we will continue with the closing hymn, 60, Silent Night, Holy Night. 